back to the iMaxit YouTube platform. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash that like button, share, and definitely subscribe. As you saw by the title, we're, we're going to be talking about a video that I've just posted. Damari Gray, what type of job he's taking up, and how impactful some of these guys coming into playing for Jamaica does. All right, how impactful it could be, I should say. All right, all of that I want to mix up with all of the reggae boys abroad. So we're going to be tripping into the reggae boys abroad but let me start by what we have actually stated in the last short video so you guys could please go there and check it out all right so welcome back welcome back i have taken at least a one a two day two days off because i had some things to do with the family and such all right which which i thoroughly and enjoyed it to be honest i'm a little bit sleepy but because i was up watching the manchester united liverpool game i've said that okay let me just do the this one so if i do miss out tomorrow you guys could clearly understand all right because a lot of you guys keep texting me and stating that oh i'm not um comment i'm um, commenting on anything and so much things passing through but sometimes man have things to cover so you guys have to understand all right so we see our big bad brother um sean b is checked in massive massive respect for that support big boss yeah man yeah man so let me get straight into it this one will be a shorter version one maximum all right sorry about that guys i don't know why my internet chipping tripping in and out all right so we saw our brother presser in the building and we saw wayne carnegie um in the building so what we want to start it with is damara gray so damara gray we saw like four to five instances when big name players come up he's the one that's always in their mention saying that jamaica 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 and at the start of the little problem when mr liam bailey spoke out about what he's doing from what he's not doing he's he's one that he's, he's he, he was one of them stating that he loves playing for jamaica he's, he loves representing his country so i i had to ask a question in that video so i wanted you to, guys to go over there and check it out yourself and let me know what say you because i've asked if he's if he's the one taking over that role without even a problem and how good he could be in that role and i've given my answer right there so damar gray all i have to say big up to you um right there in what you're doing because if all of all of these guys does something similar to that i think it only can get jamaica further and further up the ladder and some serious quality players would be on the listing whether or not we would pick them because we know that jamaica's system is not a true system it doesn't go off truly what oh good you are all right it goes off all sorts of things for you to get selection but not just true because you're seriously good and you're playing at the highest level but what we would have done is to give them all of that players all of those players and then people would have to cry if some of these guys have not been selective all right yes so uh moderators take out those guys with those fraudulent things um because that is kind of taking away um our stream all right so please do that moderators big up yourself um dr gg stet and pressa in the building massive massive respect yeah man yeah man all right so that's what i have to say on damara gray but the video is there so you guys can go and check that video out for me separate drop a like on it and then return no problem all right so let me move on to the other uh, reggae boys then that played right over um the, the week because i've missed missed out a lot i had to go back and watch games because you know that is my job so i have to i have to get it done i have to get it done so let me start from some of the lower class guys them are not lower class but lower lower level playing guys like the leagues all right so the leagues not saying some of them not playing above that level but the leagues that they are playing in so that's what i'm talking about all right so we had the championship we had the championship and we had league one um played um on saturday all right yes i had to go back through a lot this is how I know that I do cover a lot of work. When I had to come off vacation to, to skim through things and to see, or see how much things I've missing. All right? So believe me, people, when you come here, please do support this content because there's a lot of work I have to put in just to cover all of these things. So anyways, we had Manchester City um, smacked Crystal Palace 4 goes to 2. Then we had Brentford versus... Um, Aston Villa. That's the first one where in which we had um, a... 
a Jamaican on, but more than one Jamaicans play for both teams. All right, yes. So we had Leon Bailey, and uh, well, Leon Bailey started. He's the only Jamaican. Um, actually started on the day. All right. The game finished three three. Aston Villa came back to steal a draw in this game. And remember, I was telling you guys the other day. How oh, can you be so certain that Aston Villa will be winning all of these games? I've pinpointed all of these games. I've said City game, a eh, almost certain to to lose. Um, because they are not the favourites. Brentford, that's a Toss up, but their quality always be a little It's a tough team to play against. Then they had Lil. So, why would you be reserving players for a next game? And so, that's what I was trying to say to the pillar men to say that no, I don't think they actually gave away the game. It was a strategy that they tried to um, deploy to say that let me stay in the game as long as possible and then give my star players, the, uh, the forward running players, them, uh, its best opportunity to get something out of that. That's what I thought. Um, um, they tried, but it never worked out against Manchester City. And this is the level that they are at. And it's always a spicy game. Remember the last game with both of these teams playing? It was like a million yellow cards and a few red cards as well. So it's a, it's a tough tough game all right and this one played out same way on the score line it was less it was less tough all right but it's it played out similar you had four yellow cards on on the starting lineup and that was about it four yellow cards the last time you had like 10 and a few red cards as well so um not the best result for um uh, uh, Aston Villa here because if they keep slipping points they are definitely going to be below um Tottenham because they're giving Tottenham more games to pass them. And then maybe Manchester United could fling something. Maybe, I don't know. But I think fifth, fifth should be theirs unless they want to find a way out to lose it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section if they're going to um, lose that... Um, spot let me know all right yes so dr gg big up yourself all right and then we have two sponsors uh mars then be just became a sponsor and, and football global just became a sponsor thank you very much for the continuous support one love said jd and the imax family one love said seems like if you don't call leon bailey whisper craig butler you don't feel good well one love the thing is right here one love here is called the, the sense of a platform that covers jamaican content if they are played, um, it's it's going to be very tough for me not to call them. All right, the next two have not done nothing, so I've not talked about them. You see, though, so what you have to work on is your comprehension skills and your ability to um uh, to understand things aside from being in your feelings the difference with we we are educated enough to separate our feelings for and, and do our job all right yes so if you don't like what we do then just don't turn up because you saw it in the title we are not clickbaiting you but you still turn up so it best you don't turn up because i think life will be better for you all right, yes. So let me move on. Ellen said, um, Garrett McCleary, a play a final right now, JD. Okay, thank you. I will check that after. All right, because I have to report on these and then we will re return up. All right. Um, Yuri Tillemans on the rise, JD. Yuri Tillemans, I think he, he he's on the up up there again because Yuri Tillemans was one of the replacement for KDB if you're... Obviously, I live in Belgium, so I would know that. Yes, he's that level of player. And um, he, he dipped. He dipped the last time. We expected more from him when he was at Leicester. And then they are saying that he's going to go to Arsenal. That move fell through. And I thought that that definitely um, ampered his development. You know, because he had to come back to Aston Villa. Aston Villa um, trying something. Maybe not got their, their win together. And then he had to come into that system and learn something different. But I am grateful for what he's doing at this point. Because he's des desperately needed for um, Belgium. And when he plays for Belgium, he plays ridiculously good ridiculously good all right yes but Tillemans he's definitely um going back to the place that he should have been all right yes um is Cameron Archer reggae boys um in in the blood question he plays for Sheffield um yes we heard about that Dr. Gigi but I don't know what type of interest he shows um but when I saw the in see the see the interest 
um, out there, I do put them in the little thing. You understand me, Dr. Gigi? But I've not, not heard anything from him. I've heard persons mention him before. Yes. M M Mr. Fresh and Clean, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Kavan Jones and Wells in the building, big up yourself. Guys, what you could do, um, go at the top of the screen because it says 28 likes. When you go at the top of the, the screen, you will you will see um, something says uh, whatever you're doing. So just click it and it says like. All right. So click at the top. I, I triple that at the, at the top of the screen and you will see it. All right. That will definitely help the program to let others know that we are live and you should definitely join us. Thank you very much for the persons that found it and genuinely never knew how to hit the like button because we understand it's a system that I just cook up once I'm running something fast. I just work with the live stream this way. All right. Yes. All right, so we have Wells checking, Sadna checking, massive, massive respect, all right? Um, and then we have Figo said, uh, okay, I'm not going to work with Figo, what Figo is saying right there. So anyways, this is Leon Bailey's stats. Let me run through it. So Leon Bailey's stats uh, on the day, so we can come, up, come off his name. And... Sorry about that clipping clip out, guys. I'm going to try to search it out. Let me... Let me um, clip my mobile so if it it does um trip out um it can pick up off that all right let me click my mobile my mobile running so um we could get it started all right so 89 minutes played no assist no goal um eight, 60, 69 touches and on the pass inside he had 34 46 passes which is 74 um percent right there and then he he, went, he tried 10 crosses which is good to try to, to get that amount in all right, completed three of the ten. Still decent for me. Um, long balls, one of one. Completed shots off target, one. And shots blocked, one. So he took two shots right there. Tried four dribbles. Um, completed one of the four right there, which is um, 33, no, 25%. Yeah, okay. Um, then grown to us, he had two out of five. Decent, and he lost his era battle there. Last position, 23 times. But you know me. And are on, on forward players. Forward players, they are there to try things. So if um, if they are losing the ball in certain areas, I I don't see it as that biggie um, as to them losing it in their defensive area. All right? So that's how I evaluated forward players. So I think 25, uh, if they are heavily touching the ball over 70 times, I think 25 miss, miss-ups could still be... Um, Supported. I'm not saying that it's a, a whole leap. You understand me? Yes. Worst off if your take-ons are successful, your crosses, you put in 10 crosses as Leon Bailey could, you could say, all right, then that's seven extra ball that wasted right there. So you could forgive that. You understand me? That's how you can evaluate the statistic there. And was fouled once. And on the defensive side, he never had any stats right there. Overall, he had a 6.9 and his rating. So that is um, Leon um, Bailey. Leon Bailey, let me go through the rest of the comments them coming in. All right, all right. Dr. Gigi, big of yourself, yeah, man. Um, the, uh, Pagan, massive respect. Thanks for being here. Lee, um, young in the building. Yeah, man, Figa, big of yourself. I'm not going to answer that. Bless up on this Sunday. All in the chat, massive respect. Ellen says, Miles Peart, Aris. Yes, the, I've heard about that player. And I, I just give me a little chance. Nitro told me about him. I will be um, scouting the player. Don't worry yourself. Shot power, big up yourself. Thanks for being here. Float management, massive respect. And um, Ziza says, JD, do you think your Tillemans will constantly start from Belgium? I think that is the plan. That is the plan. And I and I see no reason for him not to do so. Even with KDB coming back. Because remember, he can play deeper line. And he's very, very comfortable playing deeper line. All right? His progression is something not normal. Worst off with those bigger players, he will be doing the job. Um, Fabian Full, big of yourself, thanks for being here. Father Bling said, Blesses JD and I max it. Um, Urgent Singh said, Did you see um, that tackle um, from Leon Van Dyke? Oh my god, 
All right. <laughs> have you have you done your homework on Joshua Wilson? Um, no, Lee Young. You, Lee Young, you guys gave me four players, and remember this was my vacation week, you know. So you should have just given me an opportunity for me just to run through the players them that I've watched, and not necessarily at the other. Because so we're going to say it for for players, guys. I have to look at five, six, seven, eight um different videos to really make up my mind and what the players them do well from what they don't do well. So I can't just come here and tell you that yes, I've covered all of them. Give me a little more time. Give me at least a week. So because that is 16 that is 12 to 16 videos. That's a lot amount of videos you know, I have to go through. So give me a little time, man. I will put them in the rotation. Don't worry yourself. Um, Obalik, um, bless up yourself. Thanks for being here. Guys, please do better on the, the like button. We want the likes to go up there. Um, Leon, careful. Mind block avoid history. Um, play out on him. No, no, no. Leon Bailey already achieved way more than block boy. Block boy was just um, a myth. A myth type of player in Jamaica. The greatest thing ever to never show anything um, outside in the big world. All right. Everyone talks about um, Walter Boyd is always like a fantasy type talking. He has not achieved nothing of Leon Bailey, to be honest. The only person you can say um, achieves more than Leon Bailey is actually um, the two recorded. The Ricardo Fuller, Ricardo Gardner. Those are the top tier guys. Them. And if you want to look at the MLS side, but because Leon Bailey plays in in, in Germany and Germany, Belgium and England, you, you, people would say that the MLS is not on that level. So you can't use none of those guys from that world. But you have to put those two guys above Leon Bailey at this point. Yes, but Black Aboid is not in the same realm of none of these other guys. All right, I think he gets undeserved hype. I'm very sorry. Leon Bailey is better than him um, and achieve more than him. And also Bibi Gardner and Ricardo Fuller. Those guys are not in the same league. I know Jamaicans will always jump up and say the opposite because that's how that's what we it proves what we do, you know. Over the last 30 years, and all we do is just find one bad behaving human being, and obviously them show some promise, but they are bad behaviors, and then latch on to them. Alright? And then you realize why we are like that. Because if our role models are like that, what we are not going to be much different. Alright? Yes. And sorry if people look at him different, but that's how I saw him played and how old the behavior around him. It looked exactly what, like what I'm seeing today. That's what I saw back then. All right. Uh, who do you think, who you think will be the best replacement for LB31 Copa? I, I don't know, you know, we are going to assess that a little bit more in the future. What's the news today? Everything Shamar Hall. We are talking football in general. Um, Urgent Singh, JD, if Blacker Boy played modern day football, we don't care what he plays, Singh. You, you know what? Look how you love Liam Bailey. And I have said that Liam Bailey is better than Walter Boyd and I've achieved way more than him, which is facts, you know. Something that you can't argue, you know, but it looks like you come from Mountain View and... <laughs> Because it's the only person which it's only in fantasy. He's going to be better than none of these guys. All right. If we are going to look at all the players that play for reggae boys, which I'm, I have a series coming out. I am telling you, Walter boys, boy will never be nowhere near anything of sensible placements. All right. So you guys are going to fight all you want. All right, because Lee and Bailey, everybody will come over, Walter Boyd. So you guys can curse all you want. I know reality and I have to stick with reality. Lee Young, Black, Blacker Boyd is a legend at Swansea. Legend at what, Swansea? What is wrong with you, man? You act like me never watch football. Legend at what, Swansea? How much games Walter Boy played? Li uh, listen to this now. Sing, how much games Walter Boy played at Swansea? I'm going to make people see that you guys don't talk in reality, you know. How much games he played at, at Swansea? Because Ricardo Fuller is a is a legend at Stoke. And Rica no, Ricardo Fuller is a legend at Stoke. And Ricardo Gardner is a legend at Bolton. And both of them are legends in the Premier League. All right? Yes. So, educate me. Uh, float management. Bibi. Yes. Bibi. Fuller was a joke. Was no joke. Okay. Thank you, Dem Hendrix. Fuller was no joke, man. Fuller was rated high in certain levels, you know, man. In certain streets, you know, man. JD, you were either not born or were too young to appreciate the talent of Blacker Boy. I was big enough and I saw his supporters. And that's why I could have told you that his supporters. Oh, ironic. The two persons you support. 
Bring the same behavior. No, the three persons that you sing support. No, the four person, persons that you support is the same exact behavior thing. They, they have the same behavior they have. All right? MG said, we support bad behavior, sad truth. But MG, listen to the four people sing supports over the last 34 years. All of them is the same type of character. So sing, we clearly know the character you do have. All right, I'm Omar, big up yourself. I'm gonna check out that one later. Property for sale, big up yourself. Boy, this is the most wasted talent in Jamaica's history. All right, uh, people like the video and share the video. Yeah, man. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why my internet dropping so much. All right. <laughs> um, Division three and got promoted to the second. Oh God, bruh. Um, Bailey is a star in the EPL and the Walter Boyd um, struggle. I wouldn't put Bailey as a star in the EPL. I would have put him as a star as a Aston Villa player. But he's a good player in the EPL. That's what I would put it as well for being full. I'm not going to go over the top. Bless up yourself, uh, Marla Nelson. Uh, Zizou, yes man, like up the live, I think. If everyone can find the like button, it will go up. Indiscipline, yes, it's indiscipline indeed. Andy Williams is a legend in MLS, but because they never played at the level that as the others i don't want to even go in that you know yes no it is true dr gg so anyways let me move on from lay and bailey now make me move on from lay and bailey and let me go to um michael antonio yeah belgium has the best internet but i don't know what happened upstairs with my internet we just just let we just finish up the stream and we do our thing all right yes jd do you remember that goal blocker score oh my god the one damn goal when when oh you see you you know say dr gg you're the same thing you know you're the same thing and you know and you know why i love this conversation none of the other guys them were born outside jamaica so you guys can't see my bias because the all of the other man do better than him. I don't care what you're not going to tell me. Walter Boy couldn't clean the shoes, lace off of the two man them. Done with you know. Can't say all what you want. I know what you guys are. You guys are a bad breed. You guys just look out for all the indisciplined people them. Yes. <laughs> I am. I, I, I don't care. Antonio is the greatest. Um, at this point, Anthony is one of the best goal scorers in the highest league that ever plays for Jamaica. But we are going to be talking about that in the future. So anyways, now, Mikel Antonio played very well last week um, for um, West Ham, but missed two sitters. And it looked like they punished him for those sitters that he actually missed. All right, you cannot live in Belgium and still um, still sign up with flow. My internet is a million times faster than any internet possible in Jamaica. That is a million times. But if I'm away from my signing internet, it might be a little bit different because I'm just looking, using my Wi-Fi from my router way downstairs. So what I will do, I'll bring a router upstairs for you real baller. Yes, I'm going to buy an extra router for if I'm streaming upstairs and you will never have a problem. I will stream in 17K and you won't have a problem. All right? Yes, so you, you, that talk can't happen anymore. <laughs> All right? Yes. So before we go to Antonio, let me go to the, the, mo the most important goal Blacker scored was against Barbados in in the 90th minute in the World Cup qualifying. If not for that goal, the reggae boys would not have qualified for France. I'm um, saying, all the way at, you're picking out one goal. What happened to Burton do? What, uh, the, the most important goal would have been Goodison's goal, Goodison's final goal. That would have been the, the most important one. Stop lying to people. I am old like you. All right? Good Lord. And every other goal that was important was Burton. So Burton and Goodison. All right? Which goal was better? The Boyd or the Lemby goal? No, man. Lemby goal, a big, bigger goal with much more nutrition, higher level quality players um, in newer times. Duckland said that I'm not giving him any credit, all right? We know Gardner and Fuller are legends. No one can fight that. But Walter Boyd wasted his time. Well, I don't care what you guys are saying. All right, JD, internet, turn up. A yard now. <laughs> uh, one gigabyte fiber optic. Brother, if me tell you what Belgium are using, my drop down. All right? Yes. <laughs> it is not the same level. I am not asking you. All right? It is joke. Belgium internet rival any internet in the world. 
All right, yes, morning, real baller. The man, them, um, uh, I beat your internet. Them can't count. Um, the game came, um, so late that the TV crew had already packed up and gone. So, what kind of TV crew? I, I, I commissioned to do a game and they packed up after before the final whistle that tells you that maybe we have a bad breed society <laughs> because i am going to pay someone to come and film a game for me and and they are going to pack up before the game finish you must be mad man they would have never played um, um played back of, um, at a game for me um jd boyd is the greatest talent that never was um i think you have other talents as well i think boy is criminally overrated criminally overrated as to what football is criminally overrated i'm gonna say that live yeah i don't think you guys evaluate football right and that's why you guys have to get some mythical individual to overhype them yes i think he was criminally overrated overrated all right, these people love war. Well, yes, man. Antonio need um needs to wear um his club jersey and uh, his Jamaica. No, but he plays. He plays solid for Jamaica, man. JD streaming only fans on the computer. J well said, JD. If you saw the brace that Walter scored against Zambia in the nationals, the national stadium, amazing. Oh my. God. Yeah, but remember, you know, look, look. The, our conversation is, you know, we are comparing him to other people, you know. So that means if you think that he's good, you know, and the others are 10, 20 more guys are better than him, that means he's not as good as the next 20 guys. So he can't be in the top 20. <laughs> all right, Wells, all right, all right. I just think that he's criminally overrated as to the level that you guys are trying to put him on. All right, um, Belgium man wearing New York shirt. Yes, I bought this in England as well, you know. Belgium and we're in New York shirt. Jamaican in Belgium went to England to buy a New York shirt. Imagine that. Um, JD, the, the Burton and Goodison goals would not have happened because the reggae boys would have already been knocked out. Oh my God. So you just go back to magnify the importance of one of your pillar men. Boy, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> JD, if you follow these people, you're I am going to fight for them, fight with them forever. It's not going to stop. JD, so JD, you you going um to the promoters dance in Jamaica when the, the when a copa play? Um why why I'm, I'm not promoting nothing. Alright. Boyd is the most overrated Jamaican athlete ever. I, I I actually think so, you know. And people, listen to well, listen to well. We said most overrated ever. Alright? Um Yes, so pretty much people that the persons put on a pedestal, um, and when you truly calculated their skill set, you, you, you would say, No, yeah, he's not there. I'm very sorry, people. But, yeah, TV crew wasn't paid back in the day, those days, it was free to hear, and it was in Barbados, CBC. Okay, they packed up and left. Okay. I never saw the impact of my life, and I'm sure that if I go back, I'm going to get the footage. Ricardo Gardner scored um, from the corner in the National Stadium. Zambia play football? Yeah, Zambia play football, yeah. Uh, what, kind of, uh, what kind of big balls complain? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, what kind of big ballers? Okay, oh, my God. Know yourself. Be careful. Oh, Lord. This man, what kind of big ballers complain about the weather too cold? Yes, that was Walter Boyd. That was Walter Boyd. Yes, this, these are, they don't research everything, you know. They don't research everything. You know. They just research the things to overhype the people. Then. That's all. All right. JD, I'm coming from match. I injured myself. It looks, it's looking like six weeks out for me. What? Oh my God! Sorry about that, Duckland Stennett. I'm very sorry about that. What what league you playing, Duckland Stennett? Because I think you're old, you know, based on your type. Maybe t brushing the forty-five or so, you know. Yes. So let me. Oh, Hendrik says Liverpool gave away, uh, gave one away today. Yeah, man. People, we need to forget ninety-eight now. Concentrate on no, we can't. I thank you very much. Um Dr. Gigi, yes, thank you very much. Um I can name 30 Jamaican ballers who were way better than Fuller and Gardner who didn't make it out. Well, well, keep on talking, keep on talking. Cause I was around that time. Brother, 
stop disrespecting. That's what I don't like about you guys, you know. Two of our legend reach the furthest in football. And then we are going to talk about you have 30 which baller. You can't name 10 ballers better than Ricardo Fuller and Ricardo Gardner. No care what you guys are going to tell me. I played um, Manning Cup, um, Simba, Lead, Simba Lead, um Major League, um, stopped before Super League because um, I, I think I, I, I left that a year. I left that a year. Stopped before Super League. So I never played. We qualified for Super League, but I never played Super League and I never played Premier League. Those are the only two leagues I've not played in Jamaica. And I've been around football for over 20 years. Stop the line. Dada Daily went overseas, tried things, never looked anywhere close. So Walter Boyd go overseas and never played at any high level. Whitmore did the same. And most of our other ballers went to MLS and tried something and did something in MLS. Stop lying. Two of these guys went to the Premier League and did incredible well. All right, so give them their flowers, man. Come on, man. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you guys? Say what you want. I, I'm watching football. Man up a light post a thief. A, a barrow. Barrow the cable to get um, games back in the days just to watch these guys. And you are out here telling me about ballers in Jamaica. But better than what? At what one point, we, we at 16 years old were some of the best ballers in Jamaica. Um, I'm telling you. So top of the foolishness here, man. But better than better, but what we tw tw 30 more ballers better than these guys. Stop your foolish, this man. Uh, we remember we win Simba like when we were 15 years old, you F almost half of our team was 15 years old, you all right. Yeah, just I, and go in major league and qualify when we are 16 years old, all of us, because the St. Angelo technical team does go and play and win those two competitions. So, what are you talking about? T which 30 players? Stop the foolishness, man. All right? <laughs> Bro, that is not... That is nothing to comment about. <laughs> Alfred Hines, you, you, you look like you're 50 as well. Um, let me know if you honestly believe that you could have found 50 play, 20, 30 players better than Ricardo Fuller and Ricardo Garda because I'm saying that is madness. All right? That's all I'm going to tell him. All right? Fuller is top three uh, best footballer Jamaica has produced ever. I do believe that. Me I go play pick up. Uh, me I play um me, me, me go play oh pick up. Okay, sorry about that man. Damn, you can't you can't you can't be like that man. Just leave out them thing, man. You must never watch Walter Boyd. Um Kevin Kevin Brown, I've watched Walter Boyd. I've watched Walter Boyd and I think Walter Boyd was criminally overrated as to what you guys are putting him on. He was nowhere near that level. I'm very sorry, people. A people scout players. All right, Walter Boy was seen by a lot of players and a lot of things about Walter Boy don't suit the game. What you guys believe is just, oh, a man can shift, a man can score, and that's it. No, football plays a little bit different. Remember, it's an 11-man sport. So if you can't be, if you're indisciplined or you don't know the actual game and you just have physical uh, makeups, that is not a recipe for success. You have to have every single thing. Yes, I have said it. Walter Boy was criminally overrated to you guys because you're putting him up above Ricardo Gardner and Ricardo Fuller. That is madness. That is madness, people. All right? That's all I'm going to say. That is madness. And everybody else in world football will agree with me. Madness. All right? Walter Boy was not even better than Dean Burton. Walter Boy was not even better than Dean Burton. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Go and look at the two of them career. Go and look at the two of them career. And you come back here and tell me. Don't tell me about football. <sighs> You know what? Let me let me leave. So me add so we have a whisper pillar man pillar man. We have a Blaine Bailey, Craig Butler, and now we know Walter Boyd. Those are the four pillar men in football. You see it? Stretch over 30 years. And all of the people that only support does the same thing. Um JD, go and ask Fuller and Gardner what they think about Boyd. They're gonna say he's he's skilled and they like what he does. But if they're going if they're going to Kevin Williams, if you go in football. Nobody never signed Walter Boyd over, over, over Burton. Nobody never did. Nobody did. And people had seen Walter Boyd but never signed him over Burton. I wonder if you guys know what uh, uh, Dean Burton's career was. What? You're going to see a foolish this man talk? So you think it was by mistake Dean Burton came to Jamaica and created history? 
All right, you know what? Let me go back in. Guys, guys, we, we wanted to talk about what happened today, you know, but it looks like them steam up the, the, the history chain. So we have to go back to history to show some of them, the, uh, them, 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 them people here, all right? Let me get the, the history, all right? Because history was stored. So we can bring up the big bad Walter Boyd. So you guys could learn something today. All right, Walter Boyd. The greatest thing ever played for Jamaica and they played around Jamaica. <laughs> Wait, uh, big up yourself, Kaswan, um, Jim. All right, we are in our next battle again because from my channel, we seem to always find something to fight about. We are here to give everybody current credit, you know. But today they brought up Walter Boyd and we have to just bring him up, all right? So, Walter Boyd. Walter Boyd, this is what Walter Boyd did. Um, Swansea, um, Colorado Foxes, Arnett Gardens, Constant Spring, Naga Ed, and retired at Arnett Gardens. This, what, this is what he did. I'm going to minimize the screen so we can get all the facts on the screen. All right, so you guys can know exactly what's up. All right, so this is what. Um, second Division, EFL, and FA Cup. All right. Let me get the full stats here to give it to you. And then we're going to go through Dean Burton, Ricardo Fuller, and Ricardo Garden. And you're going to see the massive, massive difference, people. Don't disrespect the other legends, them. All right? Not because you don't know, like the, oh, the, the, the bad behaving people, them. All right, so Walter Boyd. Walter Boyd, this is overall. I don't know what I'm seeing here. Walter Boyd, oh, God. Walter Boyd, um, 17 games. In second division, 17 games in second division, um, two games in EFL and one game in um, FA Cup. Okay, so he has played 20 games and scored three goals, and he amassed over that time 1424 minutes. All right, so 1424 minutes he played overall, and he played 20 games and had three goals in that time. All right. So that is Walter Boyd's history um, with these top clubs that we're talking. The top clubs that we're talking, all right, because they have they have kind of cut out the rest. Um, um, they have cut out the rest. They have cut out the rest, all right. Um, like the Arnets and stuff, because that doesn't really matter, all right. And the Colorado Foxes never really matter either. We're just going off what he did in Swansea, and um, just Swansea alone. We're 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 ready with, all right. Well said, you can't tell with nothing. All right, no problem. All right, so we'll go to Ricardo Fuller now. Ricardo Fuller. Ricardo Fuller. All right, Ricardo Fuller. All right, Ricardo Fuller. All right, Ricardo Fuller, 44 years old, retired. All right. The, I, I know I, I can't tell you guys nothing, but I'm going to just let the, the, the stats tell the other listeners something that we can that's, that we can move on and we can avoid you guys' takes. All right? I know we understand why you guys behave like that. All right? Yes, because nobody can tell you guys nothing. All right? So let me, let me just get the, the stats for Ricardo Fuller. All right? Because he had an, an amazing career, we, we must say. Uh, Ricardo Fuller's full stats. Let me bring this around so everything is on it. Ricardo Fuller's full stats, people. Ricardo Fuller's full stats. All right, Ricardo Fuller, full stats. Overall championship Premier League. Ricardo Fuller plays 141, played 141 games in the, the Premier League. Had 19 goals and 11 assists. And you know that his team that he was playing for um, um, has... It wasn't the best team, especially in that time. So he had, um, what, that is 29 goals contribution in the actual um, Premier League alone. In the championship, he, he played 202 games, had 52 goals and 23 assists in the championship level. Big up yourself, Brain Drain. Whisper better than Walter Boyd. I don't know about that. I would still have Walter Boyd up there. But um, if Whisper does anything else in football, um, like play for Chelsea, um, 15, 20 games... That's already better than what Walter Boy has ever, has ever done. All right, yes. And um, first division, he played 64 games, scoring 26 goals. So in 480 in, in seven games, he had... So in the future, Ricardo Fuller will go down as a historical individual. All right, yes. 
in football over over there like the mid-tier football players he is highly decorated so to even put ricardo full and walter boyd in the same conversation i think it's complete madness all right complete madness all right yes <clears throat> True tell, Butler is a corrupt man, but you are still causing division between local players and overseas players, just like people who want all local players. That's why your channel is always um, an argument. No, but we are um, True tell. We have never, we have not mentioned any um, overseas player. It's all local players because we are talking about players and this came up. So True tell, why you can't tell yourself the truth that this is not the place for you? Maybe that's the best way out, all right? Because clearly, comprehension not working for you and you have not listened to nothing here, all right? Yes. Sometimes, it's so life funny. You could learn something from what we are doing here. You know why? Because even if it's an argument, we still brought up factual evidence for, for our argument. So that means you could learn something that they never knew. Because all of your life, you might think Sir Walter Boyd was this super talented individual all right and no and no we have shown you that the other guys them that we should be giving respect to you you never gave them any respect so maybe you need to learn a little bit more what we are saying here and they jump up on your computer and realize facts rather than fiction because ricardo fuller was born in jamaica ricardo gardner was born in jamaica and walter boyd was born in jamaica so which what overseas um player involved in that man just go on baby on top come here man yeah on top of your foolishness man make no sense and um, big of yourself everybody that comes in and makes quality sense because we are having an argument all right we are having an argument on something factual all right, JD, there, there are lies, damn lies, and statistics. <laughs> All right, big up on yourself. Thanks, Sabina. I'm not talking about just today. If you make me call in a show, uh, call, in, uh, call in, I can show up. Okay? You, well, I will have shows. And I, I have never blocked people from calling in. So you can do, just do so. And I am going to embarrass you. And I'm not going to embarrass you being disrespectful. I'm going to embarrass you with facts. And embarrass you with words as well. So you will realize that you just never understood nothing that I've said before. That's why you fail to understand. All right? Yes. So please, research from now. Monday or Tuesday... I will have a call-in show and I want you to call in. Don't miss it, you know. Okay, keep an eye of yourself. Make sure you call in. And I will break down everything here. And believe me, I'm going to embarrass you. You're going to learn today. All right? Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> most, most of these distractors are from single mothers who, based on their reasoning. <laughs> All right. So anyways, so Ricardo Fuller. 487 games played, 119 goals scored, and 41 assists. Big up, big up to Ricardo Fuller, and he had 31,688 minutes played. 31,688 minutes played. So, so, got Fuller, you mean Boyd? Um, Boyd have not covered. A fraction, I, I think Boyd might just cover three percent, under three percent, two point nine zero percent of the games that um 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 Fuller played at a higher level than him. Under three percent of games, Boyd survived at a lower level in England than Ricardo Fuller. When Ricardo Fuller was one of the best at doing this. So it's not a comparison, people. At some point, we need to give the rational reason, reasoning credit. And Ricardo Fuller and Walter Boyd was not in the same ballpark as it relates to football. Please, read. If you said one is a skiller and what you like more, I have no problem to tell me what you like more. I understand that. I understand that, what you like more. All right? But the reality is, this people saw him fit to play more football and he did so and was superior as to his development as to his production as to every single thing all right yes 
So let me move on from that, people. We are going to go to Ricardo Fuller and Ricardo Gardner, and then we, we, we finish this and go back to our breakdown, all right? All right, so Ricardo Gardner, this is no people. Ricardo Gardner. All right, so Ricardo Gardner, 45 at this point. All of them getting older now. Remember when Ricardo Gardner just joined um, at around 17 or so? So Ricardo Gardner. All right, so Ricardo Gardner. All right, now, so this is how this goes now. Ricardo Gardner, completely different po position, so you can understand why he doesn't have so much goals. But he still have um, five times the amount of goals. Um, five, no, not five times, six times, six and a half times, no, seven times, seven times the amount of goals for, um, Boyd scored and 11 times the amount of assists that Boyd had, um, in a higher leagues, um, than, than, uh, Mr. Walter Boyd, all right, so he played 403 games, scored 21 goals, had 11 assists, and he played 30,705, um, minutes, Played in a array of positions, left back, defensive central, central midfield, left midfield, right midfield, right back. So he plays six position, six position. Um, in the same vein, we compare players who are not even starting on the second rated teams with players in the EPL. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, skillish, uh, comparing players from different positions, different eras may not be meaningful given all the variables. But, um, Cranky, Cranky, Walter Boyd, Ricardo Fuller and Ricardo Gardner are from the same, same, same era, from the same era, um, Cranky. So we're not comparing anybody, uh, aside from the same people, eh? because remember they're in, in the same 1998, you know, oh, Fuller was a little bit, um, after but um, they are the same era of players, all right? The truth sting, JD, so stop now. All right, let me, let me move on, let me move on. All right, let me move on. All right, let me move on. All right, they said we should not talk. Let me stop talk. Let me go back to what, what's here, all right? Because um, I thought all of them played in the same time. But you know what? Maybe I, I, my eyeballs never worked right well. Anyways, so... Um, <coughs> big up yourself, Jamaican Cancun. I texted you in a big boss, but you never answered. My <laughs> You never answered, all right? So anyways, let me move on. So Mikel Antonio and West Ham get a good win over Wolves. Good win. They had to come back from behind and Mikel Antonio came on and was instrumental towards them getting up the pitch and um, at a frequent rate. Um, and that was good enough um, for them to get the win. All right, so guys, we have gone 47 minutes and we have not hit 100 likes. So come on, um, get the likes up on the video. Um, it is at the top part, a triple dot, just click it. I will give you a little time to get it over 100 and then we get it even further so we can go the next hour, all right? Because you're already here and we can't afford 100 pillar men here. It has to be less than 100. About 50 of those pillar men can be here, but aside from that, we ain't wanting no more. <laughs> All right. Um, so get the likes up, guys. Let me wait. Um, um, okay. Um, Amsterdam. I went to Rotterdam and re returned back um, to Belgium. So I'm I'm back in house. So guys, come on. Let me get the likes up. Let me get the likes up. The triple dot on the side. Let me show you how to get the likes up. It's a different system. So you have to play with the screen um, and find the triple dot. I don't know which software you're using, but once you click the triple dot, it should um, expose the likes and then you get the likes up. All right. See, jump from 69 to 77. All right. So let me get, get it to 100. That means people couldn't find it. Or right, some of the pillar men them got baptized um, over the ceremony just a while ago. All right. Yeah, man. I'm preparing for Cranky, you know, to smoke Cranky. What is Cranky talking about? Um, no, 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 no. I think Cranky missed, the, missed part of the conversation. That's why. Um, Cranky is Cranky is a, is a fair person, man. He, he's a fair person. He's still checking me out to see if I'm worthy worthy of that debate that he promised to give to me. You know, promised to give me a hell of a beating. So he's checking to see how my skill set um going. You know, yes. So that's what he's doing. <laughs> Alright uh, guys, we still need 17 more on the board to get 100, so it should not be hard, should not be hard at all. We have a lot of players to go through, you know. Um, do, JD, do you use PayPal also? 
also, yeah man, we use PayPal, we use PayPal, all of them, um, Dr. Gigi, in the description of the video. If you like the video and want to support it, just go in the description, click the um, support link and it will bring you straight through um, to the PayPal. But what, what's good, when you donate here, it comes up on the screen and comes up on all of my systems because I like to be transparent. So if you give me a dollar, the world should see that you give me a dollar. I don't just pocket the dollar, you should know that the world knows that you give me a dollar. So you donate it to my business via the rest of the world seeing it. All right, yes. Um, Petersburg FC just won 2 1 in a cup, and Mothersill um, and John C. Clark Art have won a trophy. I arrived, and Mothersill was vital towards winning that because he was the one sending, um, sending, um, yes. All right, no, Omza, your business, your business. So take it, take it, Omza. <laughs> Um, JD, what's the latest on Dujan Sterling? He's playing ball, wanted to go through that, but I can tell you the war boats them came in early and I had to smoke them and one of their other um, unruly player. All right, yes. So guys, we still need 14 likes, so we can't continue the show until it passes up to the 100 and then we move on and then we get up to 200. So very easy to do so. Let me, let me click it back and show you. Um, I have not even I have not even shared this, you know, so a lot of people might not even find the video on its own. But let me share it now. Let me try and share this so we can get um, more people or oh, or oh, or oh, people them to come and like the video. Yeah, man. So we are going to find our people them to come and like the video because it looks like our video attract too much haters um, at the start. So it's hard for the real people them to find it, you know, because they ain't liking the video. So let me send it to the real people them, all right? And then I will get it over to 100, 200, all right? Yes, yeah, so um, the real people, when they need to have the, uh, what I call it, when they need to have the, what you call it, the notifications on. Yeah, man, uh, <laughs> JD, please pick the topic and it, we have to work on it. That's why I said, I'm just telling people that you're watching me to make sure it, it, I'm worthy of the challenge, all right? <laughs> uh, the one the one cranky he, he loves um he, he beats up tigat tig this man beat up tigat you know i've smoked him before you know and he wants to come back oh my god all right you know what? we need to set up that smoke uh, we, you know what we're gonna do it we're the, <coughs> you know what? we're gonna figure a way you know the car we can't make cranky come out on top you know it has to be football football related um topics and it has to be in-game football something that we do and talk on on this channel so he's not gonna screw anything to get any victory here he has to work hard for that victory all right so anyways um big bad um super michael antonio um came on played 43 minutes 45 minutes plus extra time had one shot on target and had two of his four dribbles attempted successful at 26 touches completed 7 of 12 58 percent right there whipped in one cross it was not successful at three of his eight duels ground duels one and one of his three um aerial duels one there and plus um, 12 position lost and in the defensive department he had one tackle one clearance and one dribble pass <laughs> JD you are a pure moat all right good lord all right we have to we have to set up that thing because cranky hype too much you know we have to we have to make it be the end of cranky and him hyping on youtube people we we have officially gotten a challenge so we are going to set something up one of these days all right yes one of these days we are going to set something up because we have to fix cranky we need to let him realize that he can't judge people off just the rip because i've smoked him the last time but we have to smoke him now in in recent memory of the the fans yes all right cranky you have said enough now so next week now I pass i'm gonna get something on the books for mr cranky all right <laughs> Um, Lord God, oh, pe some people love uh, murder. <laughs> no, 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 Cranky is about above the elite because he does thought all of the other man, man them. So he believes that he's just gonna smoke me. I've smoked him already, you know, but it was only in football prediction and breakdown. And it, maybe he never signed up to say this is going to be a smoking, and I took it serious. So I'm going to give him the time. And then we're going to evaluate some games, and then we're going to wait on the 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 the, the, the um 
the information out and then we are going to check it or and then we can battle in something else so i want to smoke him yeah but tell you what he's gonna next week we're gonna sort out something because cranky i have too much cranky i have for too long now jd just set the date at at this point um the viewers think you're trying to run Oh, oh, can I be running from something where Cranky said I should set date and time? Cranky not admitting that I've smoked him and I've just said he sets a date and said something else and I come and tell him. God. Things happen in a skillish, all right? Yes, things happen. All right, so let me run through the rest of the results, them. Run through the rest of the results, them. Uh, West Ham 1 to 1. Brighton, I, I must admit that um, Arsenal looked better. Arsenal looked better against Brighton than Liverpool looked against Brighton in their game. I know that Lima would disagree with that, but I have to stay with that, all right? Um, you believe Cranky will slaughter you, all right? Float management, if you, if you think like that, no problem. I need to earn back my respect from you guys, all right? Yes, man. All right. you need, I need to earn back my respect from you guys because I think I'm getting too much disrespect, you know? Yes, so Mr. Cranky, yeah, man, I have accepted the channel challenge. Enough. Yes. Um, Jason Gona, you are you are also welcome. Oh my god! Oh my god! What this we we need to fix people. We we are going to set up something for this this brother named Cranky, you know. He's doing too much now. He's doing too much now. He's just picking people and saying my god does out every I don't know what happened to this inter internet thing, man. Damn, I have I will fix it by the next time I'm upstairs, guys. Alright, promise you that. Uh, big up, big up, uh, Mackerel. How are you doing, man? Massive respect. Skip. Big up yourself. S Technic. See the man out here challenge you, man. Uh, we, 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 we. You might go get it, man. All right. Cranky will smoke you. Uh, you, JD, you don't want the smoke. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I've accepted it. I've accepted it. Since that, you guys so confident in this, man. All right. No problem. Anyways, let me, let me move on. Let me move on. We, we, tell, we tell the Cranky so we accepted it. His challenge. 1,000%. And nobody now back down from Cranky because see Jason um accepted his challenge. So nobody now back down from Cranky. None. You think a T got this? A cataract this. Even though some people say cataract beat you. Even though some people say cataract beat you. You think a cataract this? <laughs> what cranky gonna smoke? You wit. Big words. I'm um, Jay Shy. I am telling you, these people really disrespect me, the man. But you know what? That's why we, we need challenges because people need to understand the levels of certain people. That's all I'm going to tell him. All right. Yeah, man. So, anyways, let me move on. So, Arsenal, Arsenal, Cranky and Jason, Arsenal. Um, they, they looked better. Uh, they looked very good against Brighton. And Brighton was at, actually at home. So, they start to make me feel. Um, um, Ketarak last fair and square. Okay, some people told me that Ketarak won the game. All right, so so he, you know, <laughs> so Arsenal looking good. I have to, I promise, he promised you that one. Arsenal looking good. All right, <laughs> all right. So this is looking, this is looking good for Arsenal at this point. And um, I think with Liverpool drawing and Arsenal um, won, it's supposed to be 71 points apiece. Let me check it to make sure before I come back um, here. 71 apiece. So it's supposed to be Arsenal. Yes, it is Arsenal. Arsenal title to take now. All right. So Arsenal title to take now. So no excuse from the Arsenalites them. All right. No excuse at all. They should be taking away the league at this point. All right. Right? because they're at the but i can tell you <laughs> i believe let me you guys want to know what i what i believe people i believe city just won the title i believe that city just won the title because arsenal will slip up again and city will pass them you know and i think liverpool have one more draw in them left Yes, so City just won that damn title by Arsenal um, um, going at top just a while ago. Believe me. All right? <laughs> um, it took JD 30 odd weeks to finally speak the truth about Arsenal. I said they're, they're looking. The, that means you're, you're not listening and you're biased. That's a problem because it's your team. You never wanted to listen. <laughs> <laughs> so Manchester City, because Arsenal not winning nothing at all. All right, I see City dropping four points. Good Jesus God! 
All right, so City. All right, let me, let me before we go back into the rest of the uh, rest of the reggae boys, them. Let me just run through the games them that City has left. All right, all right. City have Luton next at City, which City is gonna murder Ration Luton. All right, then they then they have um. We can skip a boss, Patrick. Then they have Brighton at Brighton. Think that they can win that one and win it comfortable as well. Then they have Wolves at at City. They have um, Fulham. They can beat Fulham. And then they have West Ham. All right. All of these games, every damn game right here, aside from the, the Tottenham game, the Tottenham postponed game, I think City can murder Rish and everybody and make up their goal difference. Every one of those. Let me give you Arsenal because it looks like you guys never watched Arsenal's and the rest of their games. All right. Yes. Every team. Every team aside from Tottenham, um, Arsenal playing will be like um, 10 to 1 winning odds. So, they based on the metrics, they should be the favorites winning it, even though they are behind. All right, so Arsenal, Arsenal has Aston Villa next, which is a team that it should beat, but it's not a far one. All right, so let's see what Aston Villa does um, bring to the table because uh, Tottenham will have games in and over them. So that will give them an a incentive to fight for that um, automatic chance, um, Champions League spot. Then the Arsenal have Wolves, they have Chelsea, they have Tottenham, they have Manchester United, they have Everton. Um, Estetnik, Estetnik, they have Manchester United that just drew. Uh, at Manchester, they have to go, you know. And they just drew with Liverpool. They have Tottenham at Tottenham and they have Chelsea at their own ground. And people I, mean, I can see Arsenal dropping serious amount of points. Stop it. I think I, I, I even though Arsenal is leading, I think they have the low odds out of all three to win it. They have the low low odds of all three to win it. And if they do turn up to win it because you know why they are the toughest running um after this. Because they have Tottenham Chelsea Tottenham, Manchester United, even though they might be favourites over most of them. Um, I think the Tottenham one will be even at Tottenham, 100%. Yeah. Manu can be anything at home, as you could see, Liverpool. All right. And Chelsea, Chelsea create 15 chances. It doesn't matter who they are playing. I told you Chelsea would have turned over Manchester United. Um, because it doesn't matter who you're playing. They have created 10, 15 chances against everybody this season. It doesn't matter who they're playing. They seem to always create 13, 15 chances. And now their forwards look like they can score a little bit more. So Chelsea, all of these games. You know, um, to be honest, I think only Manchester United, they might win out of this. Arsenal, only Manchester United. I think both Chelsea and our Tottenham, they're going to drop points in. Both Chelsea and Tottenham, they're going to drop points in. Both of them. I think Chelsea might beat Arsenal at Arsenal. Remember, I've said it. It's a 23 of the fourth. So, a few weeks ago, Chelsea might just beat Arsenal at Arsenal. Uh, Chelsea is an unpredictable team. The only thing you're sure of... No, unpredictable finishing. But the only thing you're sure of, they're going to create the 15 chances. Uh, we have the much tougher schedule. So difficult to win the league. City is well poised again. Yes, that's what I've said, Cranky. But the, the Arsenal man, they must say a lie, may I tell. But see how Cranky agree with me there. So I, I don't even know. So, yeah. So anyways, let me go back to our, our, our breaking down of the players. But we had to drop in some of the, the current things. You know, because um, the league is getting excited, you know. Arsenal keep getting clean sheet. Chelsea can't. But Chelsea, Chelsea creating more chances than, than almost everybody, man. Chelsea, we have to give them credit, man. They, they, even though they're not scoring and winning so much games, um, the big games, and they, they turned up in all big games. Um, who said your line? Estetnik not talk like say Arsenal. No, that is Estetnik, you know what I'm Estetnik above you. Estetnik, I'm um, talking like Arsenal oh, win it. And I'm saying it's poised for City to win it because of the player, the teams that City has. And they are the favourites in almost in every game. They are the favourites. Arsenal is not a favourite at, at Tottenham. They are not a favourite. Alright? Liverpool lost the title when they were robbed in the first game against Tottenham. Alright? Alright, alright. Alright, so anyways, Ipswich lost to Norwich. Um, Hutchins played... Okay, 
um, in that one, but that last dropped them down because um, Leicester got the win. And remember, Leicester had a game in and as well. But Leeds lost as well to Coventry. That was a good one. Remember, we have Reggae Boys on that one. So Ellie Sim back at it as well. And Adji Wright from United States scored. But both of our players then were crucial towards um, getting something going. We had Latibo Deer came in for KC Palmer, so they shared the game right there. KC Palmer came out in the 66 and Lati Bodier came in in the 66 as well. And they got that win and that is giving them a final charge to get into the um, playoffs. They are on 63 points with with, with, um, with a game in and over Norwich, but Norwich is on 67 because they defeated Ipswich. All right, yes, yeah, so that puts them in the final playoff spot. So Norwich and Norwich and um, Coventry fighting for that final spot. All right, so if they can win their uh, their 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 game in and go on sixty six, that means they can rival Norwich and West Brom for that final spot. So that will be something very very good. All right, so big up there. So that is Joel Latibody and. Um, KC Palmer fighting for um, promotion to the Premier League. That is very, very good right there. Um, Odisfield, one over middle wall. Leicester, 2 1, we just are totally over Birmingham. We had um, Middlesbrough defeated um, Swansea um, 2 0. All right, 2 0. We had our boy. Um, Jamal Low in this one, an next game from him. And then now we have um, QPR playing um, Sheffield Wednesday. This was very much important because remember we, we had our defender um, on, on it, but he was injured, uh, which is Deshaun Bernard. He traveled with the team the last time, so we are seeing if he could have gotten um, any game time because he had a muscle injury. We had, we had reported it. He had a muscle injury, but it looks like he, they might not risk it. Um, cause he never made the bench here. He never made the bench here. All right. He never made the bench at all. Maybe he still, he, he still, um, still, um, traveled with the team, but he never made the bench here. All right. Yeah. So this Sean Bernard, um, I'm going to check to see what's up with it. If it's, if it's something worse, but they, they had only reported that it was a muscle injury and nothing else. Um, Stoke and West Brom. I am still looking to see if we're going to see anything of Daniel Johnson, but maybe Daniel Johnson's time at this club is done. They have drew, uh, drew that game 2-2. Um, Stoke 2-2 Stoke with West Brom. All right. And no, Daniel Johnson just the same. All right. So that's another um, big one. A big one for Daniel Johnson because I expected him to get some game time, but it's looking tough for Daniel Johnson. You understand me? Yeah, Lati been linked with to big clubs. I've done a video separate on that. Guys, thanks for the 100 likes, but get the likes up more than that, man. We need more likes than that. 150 should be respectable on this one for the two hours that we do give you. And please do subscribe, share, and hit that like button. We are aiming to 11,000 and we are going there very fast because we are past 10,000 straight to two, almost 10,300 now. So thanks for the continuous support, all right? Yes, so we had um, Burton versus Oxford. Remember Oxford, you have um, Greg Lee on, on that one. So we have to watch him. Greg Lee had a decent game. They won 4-0. And remember, they are fighting as well. So a lot of our, our teams are fighting. Greg, Lee, um, Greg Lee's team in sixth position on 70 points. Lincoln right below them. All right, so... Any little slip up, they are down. All right. So if they and but Barnsley have a game in hand, and Petersburg has two games in hand, and Petersburg could pass potentially fight for automatical spot. All right. Yes. So if they can win all of their games, they could have a shot for the automatical spot because Derby um on eighty two, and they have they have the more realistic one to catch because Portsmouth um pretty much already got um. Already qualified so far. There are 90 points after 42 games. So I, I do believe that they are going to qualify. All right. Yes. So Petersburg need to win a few games but because they had the finals. And so I. But good, good job for um, Greg Lee. So they are going to go into a, a playoff. So we could possibly see maybe a few more Jamaicans stepping up to the next level. And uh, Mother Sill, people, don't wait until he goes to the championship to contact him. All right? Because that's going to come off a little way. All right? Yes. So we had Barnsley um, versus Charlton. All right? 
and Barnsley lost to Charlton. As you saw, we have a few Jamaicans on it. Michael Hector. Um, we had Michael Hector. We have Karai Anderson. And then we have Devante Cole. All right. Big bad Hector, as you know. Um, I think Hector might get a contract somewhere else, you know. Because Hector putting in some good performances that people looking at him different. All right. Amar Bell has a YouTube channel. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, we, we will look at it. We will look at it. Been watching um, League Two, and it seems like it's better than our JPL. Think it should. I think it should. Um, do you um, know if any attempts were made to get get um, Gibbs White? We have heard that he he said. I, I, I'm going to do some research on it. I'm not going to talk on it um, if I can't give concrete um, proofs. Because sometimes people say things. I don't like to take them. Their words hurt, you know? All right. So 90 minutes Hector played. Four clearances, one block shot, three interception, one tackle, zero dribble pass. He was playing as a sweeper. So dribble pass passes are much more difficult so i'm not going to make him lo look like he's a stone man but based on what he's doing i think he carried over the farm because he never he got only 33 minutes out of what three games before he came to jamaica because he was coming off um injury and he goes straight back into the team and cannot come out of the the team all right yes one of one ground duel um last is era the only one last position 13 times had 42 touches and completed 20 of his 32 passes, 63%. Long balls, 6 of 12 completed. And that's about it for Big Bad um, Hector. Then we have Kirai Anderson played entire 90 minutes. Again, good work for Kirai. Um, try, tried two dribbles. You know, he's energetic. Um, had 44 touches, completed 21 of 28 um, passes, which is 75%. Crosses, tried one, did not complete that one. And ground duels, three of seven um, completed, which is good. And three of 16 era duel, not good. That is terrible. Um, and position loss, 13, and committed two fouls, but was fouled once. In the defensive department, he had one interception, two tackles, zero dribble pass. So that is decent, right? there so Karai Anderson um keeping up um his pace right there all right yes and then uh, we we know that Peterborough never played because they had you mean Peterborough never played because they had the finals all right the finals that people criticizing um uh, mother sale for all right which I think is it, it, that's where he got his break his breakthrough which is quality all right so it's a football league trophy the football league trophy um consists of um, a lot of the ver versions of teams so you get pre pl2 um um epl2 no not epl you have um league two league one u21s in it all right and mother Sill was one of the best performers this year in this competition one of the best performers in this competition and because of him being one of the best performers he was gu gu guaranteed more minutes in the main team and he came in the main team and also performed as well so i was so i was shocked when i hear people saying that this guy is not performing well and what are their reasons to say that he's not performing well oh he doesn't have any goal well, Mikel Antonio doesn't have won any goals for Jamaica for the longest while. But we still could recognize that Mikel Antonio is performing because he's linking up plays. He has more assists than Mikel Antonio in less minutes that Mikel Antonio plays for Jamaica. So what that tells me now, um, you're watching Jamaica, so you could have given an accurate analysis on that player. But you weren't watching Petersburg, so you didn't know anything about Petersburg. But you're wondering why someone give him minutes. No, these guys get minutes because they are actually good. This is not Jamaica that people get fantasy um, selections. These people make things because it's beneficial to the clubs. All right. Yes. So um, Mother Sill love what he's doing. And I think he's a kid that we need to reach out for um before we jump it he only got 10 minutes in this one which is sad because he was one of them he was the one that brought them this far and the fact that they started others over him in this one that is sad but maybe it, it's a part of the ro rope he won a, a trophy just coming um in the first season and he was an integral part to get them to this round so what can i say keep on doing a thing and yeah sorry about that guys um we get a little chip out again every ball that, that we have talked on 
actually turn up and do the business and i think he's gonna fo follow suit but wh what i'm saying this guy is gonna be better than what we're saying because i don't know what happened to this internet every time it's dropping up sorry people sorry about that all right Sheffield one Chelsea game on now. All right. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. And also John Clark Harris came on in the, the 98 minute. All right. 98 minute behind Mother Sill. All right. Yes. Now reach out to, to Nobala who won't play for us. Reach. No, no. But Chavis, he had said that he would have liked to play for Jamaica. He said that already, Chavis. Said that when he was in Chelsea. He said that. All right. So you, you, you can't deal with people like that, Travis, because that's not the principle. Travis, what give us the right to, 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 to say that we should not reach out to nobody that wants to play for us? What give us the right when every other big country, bigger, bigger country, because almost all countries bigger than Jamaica, we have to be honest to ourselves. Almost all of these countries, Mexico, the United States, they're all bigger than Jamaica. England, everybody is all bigger than, than Jamaica. But they can reach out to people and try court them to play for them. What give us the right to, but, and, and this guy said he wants to play for us. So what give us the right to say we should still not reach out to them, Chavis? In your soul, you think that is the right thing to do with Chavis? Honest to God. Because <laughs> sometimes you say some things, you know. I have to question if you really mean that, you know. You understand me? Yes, but um, that's not good, Chavis. That's not a good way to look at it. All right? Um, I'm from Iran, all right? I'm here. Bless up yourself. Thanks for being here. Yes. Uh, we have to reach out. That's the correct protocol. But Cygnus Media, I think that's what everyone um, should do. But it looks like um, a lot of men don't care. You know, Chevis, Chevis is just different, yeah, man. I, I'm not going to even fight Chevis anymore, all right? I'm not going to even fight Chevis. <laughs> I am not going to even fight Chevis um, anymore on that one at all. You know? Yeah. I'm just hoping that Chevis... Um, just see things a little bit different, but I'm not going to fight him. I'm um, to see it any other way, you know. <laughs> yes, so we have Manu 2 2, um, Sheffield, um, when Sheffield United 1, um, Chelsea 2. Hopefully, Chelsea can hold on to that because I want Chelsea to win that more that game. Because once they win that game, you know, um, belief is going to set in because we need them to be at a certain level when it comes up to Arsenal time. Um, JD, English born players born in England. England is their first preference. Um, and we are always second option. That's the reason, JD. All right. That is not true as well. That is not true as well, you know. Um, that is not true as well, you know. You want me to show you that is not true? Travis, let me explain to you. I have, uh, like, three families inside, um, inside England. Last time I went there, all of them said that they wanted to play for Jamaica if they do get the chance. Even though I have told them about the situation because they know me, I'm not a liar and I'm not going to um, tell them anything different. I explained to them that the condition, um, the condition is not the same and some of the people are not welcoming. So they don't even see us Jamaicans. And you know the first thing you said? But they can't register to England. They don't see themselves as English. They, 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 are, for, they are their mother's trial and their father's trial. And they are Jamaicans. So stop saying it that way. All right, because them, none of them see themselves as English. They live in England, but their parents are Jamaicans and all of them come in on a Jamaica circle. So that tells you it's not everybody. If you, if you have a if you have a mixed culture, yes, somebody might the household. It all depends on the household, Chevis. It all depends on the household. So those people that jump to that story to say that every one of them will pick England first. It's a lie. Some of them just always want to stay on the xenophobic side because they are afraid of foreigners, are afraid of anything else um, that they can't, they, they don't know about. You understand me? Um, Ian, um, Ian, um, I don't think anybody, Ian, Ian, I think, Jagai, Ian, Jagai, are you alone a tear down um, somebody? Um, are you alone a tear down somebody? Because you have not listened to this video and your comments... I don't know what your comments are about, all right? Yes, I don't know. Because nobody not here on nobody. Nobody we, I, I've even said Leon Bill is one of the best, the best Jamaican barn. So I think you have not watched this video. So Ian, go back anywhere them send it from. Anywhere them send it from, you go back there. Because clearly you come back, you come from somewhere. 
that them send you from. Because we have given Leon Bill his credit in this one. And then you come here, so we are tear down Leon Bill. Oh my god, help him. Um uh, uh what you 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 uh, my team. Uh Man City Ajax. JD, what's the deal with me, me, uh, Matt Neal since Gray comment? I don't know, you know. JD, that's three out of how many players. It's based on our experience. Travis, let's say that is so. Why is it that that a problem? But I think that is not a problem, Tr Cranky. I don't think that's a, prob a problem because majority of the players, them, majority of the players, them, they are, they are connected to Jamaica because the good thing is most of the Jamaicans, them, are with Jamaicans, them. M most of the Jamaicans are with Jamaicans, believe me. So are most of them stayed with that Jamaican parent and that itself helps them with the, with the culture. And they're going to always choose Jamaica first. So I don't think it's true, Chevis. Um, JD, my problem with Chevis is he does not give um, us a local player that is better than the one we are trying to recruit. So we can match their, their status. That is true. That is true. Be honest, um, Jamaican, Jamaica's not usual players first option. No, but I'm telling you, um, Harry Vibes, I'm telling you, you can't, you can't, you can't say something. I've seen something different. And I've talked to a lot of players. And it's always they are willing to come and play for Jamaica. And it's not because they don't see themselves can make England. You, I think most of you guys have not been, been, been or stayed in, in London, stayed in Bir Birmingham, to truly know how oh, Jamaica is powerful. Some of the time I'm wondering if Birmingham is actually Birmingham or it's just the next version of Jamaica. All right? So, I, I, Chevis, I don't think you're, if you stay one day there, I don't think you know the true roots as to, oh, what we say, impactful Jamaica is on, 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 in England. You know? Yeah, I think we don't evaluate that before we jump. Um, if though, JD, if those players are good enough to play for England, they will choose England simple because of um, the benefits. All right, so look, I'm going to show you something. I'm sure that is not 100% accurate, you know. When Madasil in Chelsea, he was doing, he was the best player in Chelsea U18, performing player in Chelsea U18. That's when he said he wanted to play for Jamaica. So, how can he be the best performing player in Chelsea U18 going up to U21s? And he say he want to play for Jamaica. So, Omzo, please answer me there now. He said he want to play for Jamaica at that time. So, he doesn't see himself can make England team when he was one of the best performing players in Chelsea camp at that time. When you had other players representing England. So, I think... No, 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 no. But if, if you're good at U18s better than others on the field that's playing U18s, why would you not believe that you can represent um, for the national team, for reach the national level? Come on, come on, man, come on. Sometimes I feel like a lot of you guys believe this, you know, and want it to be true, you know, so we force it, you know, all right? JD, you convinced me about England. My family lives there. I have, I have been, I, okay, but maybe you've been there too long. I spent a five day or 20 days there. But you never get the chance to see what it is today. Okay, if you go to 50 years ago, you know, Travis, or 20 years ago, you know, that, not, that, it means something, yes, but, you understand me? Um, JD, to, to be honest, Jamaican supporters don't really support the national team. I, 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 th I think so. Um, JD, many kids were stars in youths, but can, but it doesn't. Oh my God! So what? So, t t t t listen to this now, Omzo. Listen to yourself now. Okay. So the, if the man them say them want play at eighteen years old, so now them say to them out now, you are gonna turn on and say, you know what? You know what? Them say them want play. But me not believe them. Say no, I go on now. Them have to say it. Them have to remain the same top player at a higher level and then say it after for me believe them. That is what you're pretty much saying in you know, So you're moving all the roadblocks, you know. You, you move all the roadblocks, you know, for believe the youth, them, you know. So the man them can't show you nothing more than you, Umzo. Okay, so I'm just saying, maybe he saw his competition and realized playing um, for Jamaica was the safest bet. Oh my God. 
So the man was the best performer in U18s and then come up in U21s and was one of the better performers in the U21s as well at a younger age. And then him believe said other man is better than him since he's straight fight and say Jamaica I want to play for Jesus God. Alright, alright, you know what? A true not dark, a true. You know what is our problem? Our ego is bigger than what, who we actually is. That is my, um, our problem. Our ego is a little bit bigger than who we actually is at this point. And no, not at any point. Our ego is bigger than who we actually is at any point. All right? That is our problem. We have to approach this better because everybody in the world do it and we are the most disrespected people that wants help. I am very sorry and that is what holds us, hold us back. Because we are disrespecting the people that the only people that can help us in the next 20 years. In reality, we can't produce the talents to compete with nobody in the next 25 years because we don't have no infrastructure. Don't be fooled. You see, everything. look, look at the things that we hype about. Oh, the man I get three trials for Imbala. The man I get one day for Imbala. Imbala join one, one U20 camp, 21 team. Then one of our players them go in Europe, C D division, them are the 50th rank play teams them. That is what we are bragging about, you know. When we have them people here, I play at a, a higher level, and then we are like we are trying to put them down and I shame them into not coming. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I am very sorry. I'm very sorry. JD, stop listening to <laughs> Yep. All right. So. All right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I am not fighting with Ian. Ian, come in. So we stop fight about fight against the ballers. Then and name start cause about every thing. Oh, uh, and Jamaica need to stop using these English born Jamaicans and start using the youth. Um, Ian, have you have you uh, have you watched your own league in Jamaica? Um, that, that will never happen and you will not compete with nobody. I think if Jamaica pick um, a, lo a local team, we ain't, we, ain't we, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't the best in the Caribbean. We ain't the best in the Caribbean. Because I can name multiple t t teams in the Caribbean that will beat the bricks of Jamaica if we pick a full local team. Beat the bricks of Jamaica for pick a full local team. I don't even think we we, we, we will have maybe come 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 a solid um fort in the Caribbean. Fort. Imagine that. Fort in the Caribbean. Uh, in the Caribbean, I never said Kanka Cafe, you know. So fierce reality. And I'm talking about if you get Leon Billy, um um Damian Lowe, um um Blake, we are still not the best in the Caribbean. We just have a mixed team. And here they draw 2-2 two, two with us and then we beat them in the next one. JD, Scarlett is on the bench for Tottenham. Nice, nice. 2024 and we talking about a full local team. So, but <laughs> local team won't even beat Trinidad. Yeah, there will, there will be a Trinidad rivalry. Uh, we were the top of the Caribbean when we used local players, JD. TikTok, that is then. Travis, 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 go pick a full local team now and, and, and tell me, no, hold on, so all, all on it, Irish vibes, locally Jamaica are the best in the Caribbean, no, 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 no not one Ross. let me show you how much team, alright, so who, because it looks like some of these teams may be located in different, in two different waters, um, so who your class as the Caribbean then? Who, who your class as the Caribbean then? Because AD, AD excluded outside the Caribbean, right? AD is outside the Caribbean, right? AD is classed outside the Caribbean or AD, AD normally um, come in our competitions. Because remember, AD landmass you know, is stretched across to all of the things, you know. So are we classing AD inside or outside the Caribbean? Because all the other tournaments have AD involved in it. Alright, so if AD is going to be involved in any CFU competition, Jamaica cannot, Jamaica cannot be first. Alright, so AD will be in that. And I think, 
Um, Suriname will be in it as well. Suriname will be in it as well. So Suriname AD will be in it. Damrep will be in it as well. Damrep will be in it as well. So Damrep have a good league, and I think Damrep um, team would have caused us all sorts of problem as well. So and Trinidad will be in it. So that's five, four teams that you're not sure Jamaica would have beat. beat. I'm sure that yeah, it just, um, um, Jamaica team can't beat Suriname team. I'm sure that Jamaica local team cannot beat Suriname team. If if Jamaica even with Liam B. Lane panic, if Suriname give them six with a local team, God come. My promise you if that happen, me I bet money pan it. My promise you. Because of football being watch. They not beat AD. They're not beating AD. AD gonna beat the brakes off them as well. Yes. And then now I would say I would consider them down at the third. So AD and Suriname, I would put it there. And I don't even think they're gonna beat Trinidad either. I could see them get a draw with Trinidad. And then I would put Jamaica with Damrep. The battling out for Damrep. That's where I would put them. The fourth to fifth. In the, if we are using locals alone, so that tells you we need what we have now, people. We need what we have now. That is just the truth. All right, JD. We are talking about local bar. Yes, yes, yes. TikTok. But okay, so you're saying that you're saying that oh oh you're oh so you're saying that Suriname has to use all of their local barn players as well. Okay, okay. That is different. That is different. That is different. No, Chevis, Chevis, listen, uh, man. Listen, uh, uh, what I was talking about, Chevis, is if we if we, f we pick a full local barn um team where Jamaica have, and then we put them up against Suriname main team. Uh, I'm fighting the cars, you know, to say that we need one Jamaica. Chevis, I'm fighting the cars to say we need one Jamaica. You understand me? That's what I'm trying to fight. The cars of one Jamaica, so we need all of them best players, yeah. Because if we fit the our, our best players, them coming out of Jamaica and just take up all the foreign man, them we're not, we, we are not even the best in the Caribbean or the CFU. All right, because CFU added Suriname and AD in it, and Suriname team now. Suriname, Suriname, I need to build a video on Daniel Duki coming here. Daniel Duki is the best center back coming here, and he, he doesn't even play a game for Suriname. He doesn't even play a game for Suriname. So the thing them that we are fighting against, these guys are getting. Daniel Duki might, might already be the best centre back in in, in Kangakov and don't play a game. So Suriname them getting them players there, but yet still we are trying to talk down for not play the other guys them. No, I'm 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 saying Blake and those go abroad are look yeah man we are, so TikTok we are gonna put all of them on that. Uh, let me pick a eleven. Let me pick a eleven of local barn. Let me put a, pick a start in level of local barn. We know we are going to have low. Low are going to be one of the center backs. Them. All right. I, I, 11 of local barn people. 11 of local barn. Blake in goal, 100%. So our, our goal is safe. Blake and wait. Blake and wait. Take the two spots. Them. So our, our goal is safe, people. That, that's how we love this conversation here. That's how we love this conversation. So guys, remember, you know, if it's against if it's against local for local, yes, I agree that Jamaica can qualify. But if if you make Suriname stay the same way, um, AD stay the same way, that is diff that's a different one. So we're gonna have Blake and Wait in goal. Blake and Wait, Wait, yeah, very good back, very good goalkeeping pole. Blake and wait, Blake and wait in goal, very good. So our centre of a pool now, we are gonna put King, King. We have to put King. We're 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 gonna put King and Damian Low, King and Damian Low. And then now the right, the left position becomes different. But we have the right pass. We can put Alvas Powell. I think Alvas Powell are Javian Brown. So Alvas Powell. Alva Spole and Jovian Brown, which is not bad, which is not bad, bad, which is not bad. Um, and then over the left hand side, who are we going to go for the left hand side now? Who are we taking for the left hand side, people? Who are we taking for the left hand side? All right, so so for, uh, we, we need a left back. We need a left back. A barn, um, Rochester. Rochester could have gone on the bench. Um, who are we going to put over the left hand side? Topi is going to be a backup. Topi is going to be a backup. All right. 
So who are we going to use as a left hand? Um, you guys don't want none of those guys. Um, Campbell. Campbell we can use over the left hand side as well. He went overseas. Campbell. So Campbell will go over the left hand side. Um, taxi. You, you guys still put in taxi in? So taxi. So taxi. Alright, so taxi. Yeah, taxi will still remain number one. Taxi, taxi will still re re remain number one. Then in midfield now, Kevin Lambert. Kevin Lambert, um, Speedy. Kevin Lambert. Kevin Lambert. Kevin Lambert. Um, Speedy. Speedy, not a bad midfield still. Speedy. Um, then creative midfielder. Who would have looked for? We would have said Maggie, Maggie, Maggie would have been up there. Maggie would have been up there as a creative midfielder. Maggie um, gets the, the creative midfield spot. Maggie Luya. And then up front, you would have used Shamar. Shamar. And Bailey as strikers. Or as wing forwards. So Bailey, Shamar and, Shamar and Bailey. And up, uh, Shamar up front, yes. And then wide here, you could use um, Corey Burke. Corey Burke. Corey Burke or Whisper. Corey Burke, Whisper. Um, that represented so far Kayim Dixon. Um, no, no, what am I talking about Corey Burke, Whisper? Uh, Cephas, Cephas, Cephas. Sorry, people, Cephas. We disrespect Cephas, all right? Cephas, all right? Cephas. Cephas Paris, Norman Campbell, Junior Flemings. So that's a team. It's a solid team. It's a solid team. So I would agree with you know if we say every other team like Suriname need, need to take off all of their overseas players and just use local players only. Then I would say Jamaica would have remained on um, the top team. Alright? Or maybe they man the uh, man the man um the man Edy would have gone toe to toe. Edy, Edy can remain a solid team with only local players on it, like local barn players. So the man Edy would have to fight out who would be the top team. Yeah, but Jamaica could have rival if they take off everybody else. Yes, um I I, I don't think it can com compete so much in CONCACAF, to be honest, though. <laughs> no, no, tick tock, tick tock, no, 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 no. Wait, today's CONCACAF. Now uh, that team looks good on paper. Oh my God! TikTok, no, TikTok, no. Um, they can't compete. No man, but he is competing with our normal team. And all of the players, they, they, they're born in in Italy. One, one or two of them not born in Italy. All of them were born in Italy. So we would have had the same super forward line um to play with us. All right. So I, I think So I think no Skish because they're saying no because no Chevy started this argument to say that we we should not ask for anybody. And and then the next man come in and shut and say we'll take up all them English players for our team and all them stuff. So let me just bring a reality. This reality is we can't compete. We're not going to be in front of Mexico, United States, Canada, um, a full strength super team, a full strength 80 team, Questello, Panama for sure, Costa Rica for sure. So we're going to be fighting for ninth, tenth spot in the region. We don't quality team, but we're not going to pass none of those big teams because all these quality players need for the for this team. Um, no, we will just reach with faster streams, but it doesn't make sense right here. You know, say so we understand it, we put on paper and possible compete, you know, but it's not going to be, it not, that can't qualify for the World Cup, that can't qualify for this World Cup, that cannot qualify for this, if the others them stay. You understand me? If the others them stay the same. If we don't create every other team, yes, I agree with you. If we don't create a team, yes, I 100% agree with you. 100%. All right? I'm breaking up, sorry about it. Is it okay or no? Let me know if it's okay or no. Alright, so guys, we need some likes on, on, on the short stream. I'm going to stop the stream because it looks like a lot of people are not going over to the next stream. But over this stream only. Alright, let me see how much people check in. Alright, let me see. Alright.
right, okay, 3,000 people check in. Um, uh, my internet is bad. All right, so uh, let me let me change the internet. Let me change the internet and show you guys I know internet. Bad. Right, let me change the internet. All right, so I'm going to change the internet to this one. All right, so, all right, so my internet changed now, so it's supposed to be okay. All right, so you know, where so when is where it comes from, man? All right, it's better now. All right, so no, so all I was, uh, 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 no, I'm, I was just dispelling the rumor right there to say that, um, yeah, when I, when I w let me admit it, when I put everything together, it looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit better. The team looks a little bit better, but I can't definitively state that that team would have qualified if everyone doing the thing them the thing that we have started out to say that we don't want to do. Are we are above our we can do without? I truly believe these overseas players make our team, they make our team. And, um, as in, like, for instance, 1998, they were the, the icing on the cake. Now they are the actual cake, and we are the icing. That's what we're I am seeing now. Breaking up, we are the, we are our local band play, players are the ice now today. All right. All right, because I didn't want to come out and, and then and then chip off, you know, because I, all right, all right, because I never wanted to come, I wanted to change my Wi Fi, but I think it's supposed to be all right soon. JD, stop talking about overseas players, they are not such thing, given they are all Jamaican, yeah, but um, I'm trying to make, uh, make, make them can identify it, you know, uh, because they always go back to 1998. So, my argument is. My argument is, my argument is simple. My argument is simple. Um, yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea, there's a problem star. And then when they, they find a big team, is a big problem because they need to go on 47 points now and then go to 50 points after 31. So they could have gone up to six, you know. Chelsea keep wasting their time, you know. They could have jumped up to six and that would have been a super season for them. And then when they meet um, sit, um, um, Arsenal, they can slap up Arsenal. You understand me? But they out here wasting time, you know. JFA police is fighting hard on this chat. <laughs> Why fighting every day over the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to educate them on something. But clearly, they didn't want it to be um, educated on that matter. So tell you what. Tell you what. Um, I would just leave you guys um, because you said the internet is not working as smooth uh, because I wanted to do the next 20 minutes. Yeah. Chevy, JD, I never said I don't want no diaspora players to play for, for, for Jamaica. All I said, um, you you want to play for us. No, not not you, Chevy. You, you, you spoke on it and then the next person was in the chat saying that he doesn't want any diaspora. You never see it yourself, man. You, you, you never see it yourself, man. Um, Gary Powell said, JD, your argument won't ever make sense to, to them, so stop wasting your time. All right? All right. Chelsea's a disappointment, man. I wanted them to get the three points so bad, star. And Tottenham over here, um, going uh, going above um, going above Aston Villa with a game in hand. So if Tottenham can separate themselves uh, uh, away from Aston Villa, that would be good. All right? They are Jamaican. Um, why are you dividing Jamaicans um, globally? I don't know. I don't know. That's, but you have to understand our culture. That's, that's our thing. We tend to believe that we are slightly different, you know? So it is what it is. All right? Yeah. But um, I think this is going to finish, finish the draw. Um, this is going to finish a draw. Yeah, the stats on Chelsea. The stats on Chelsea. And it's second half. Uh, second half, um, Sheffield look like they're getting up more shots. All right, and created more big chances. I'm not watching the game, but that that might tell you. And the overall, they, they, they did not get outplayed um, today. They had 11 shots, six on target, and overall three big chances to to one for Chelsea. So Chelsea scored two goals, and um, um, both one one weren't even a, a big chance. And I would think that that's the Maduike one. Because he's a forward. Thiago Silva is a defender. So I can understand that's coming off of, of like maybe a, a header or something. Foolish conversation. Pointless listening. Um, every last day. I'm, 
I'm leaving this lim this live live Dumbo. Okay, Bennett. Um, it's okay. It's okay. But I've I've done and the, and the conversation. Um, right there. So I don't know why if you are if you're if you're listening. But if you want to leave this live, I have no problem for you to leave it. It's all right. Um, maybe next time in life you want to come and you talk, you talk. Um, or what you would do, it, it would be best for you to make it a conversation. But maybe if you speak, we will know what you really stand for. And it might not come off to what you're saying. Um, I love Jamaican people. Um, I love you, Ryan. Um, Ryan, Jamie, Lothrell. All right, JD, what's the deal with Scarlett um, and Jamaica? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, uh, Moses, massive respect for the super chat. The Jamaican diaspora population in England um, is the 11th largest in the country. We have so many people that would play for Jamaica, is ridiculous. My mom went to my brother's live in my brother. Birmingham right now JD you are right all right see peer right peer let me start this so people can see back yeah man so people should know you know he won't no you can't say it he won't be missed you know because I never knew which side that, that person was actually on you understand me but I'm just saying um every conversation I understand some people might not like it but maybe it converts two persons every day you know and two more persons decide that they're gonna go to the matches you know it's more persons at the matches you understand me yeah so that's why i thought that i was making sense talking on it you know i understand that you said it won't it won't change everybody but i was just trying to all a reason the game finished guys so chelsea drop points again embarrassing you know after getting three good points you know yes um jd was just talking about um the hyp hypocritical um situation some people are late um, to the conversation um and going nuts yes 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 um but that's that's fair that's fair if someone come on the channel and said that they don't like the conversation that's just about them um we have talked about all the reggae boys them so um and someone brought up a conversation so what should i talk on uh, you understand me i can't find someone something else to make up and talk on um what do you want me to do cost the jff and, and then all of you guys all of a sudden you have a brain once you come out and they start cost of jff even when it now make no sense. And anybody who is seeing me, listening, you know, know it now make no sense whatsoever, you know. Then you are okay with that. I am not that person. I am just talking on only for things that I can prove. I have went to England. I have family in England. So I, 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 and I know that majority of the people in Jamaica don't leave out of the country. And a majority of those those are the ones that has the problem so all i'm trying to do is just to give back some information because i'm actually a born jamaican so that was my premise to talk on it so if that doesn't make any sense to you i don't know what makes sense all right um chevy said um akjd is my friend on youtube that's why i'm here supporting talk on football we talked on football all along um fire gunner and i and i was talking on football as well because i was giving you the statistics as to who what people uh, what amount of players people improved um importing to their country that is football statistics all right oh you can get them on the field if you don't know where they're coming from or you don't know who they are all right so some people oh all right, you know what? <laughs> um, Dennis Morrison said, JD, question. Can you tell me uh, which midfielder in Jamaica team know that is better than Ravel Morrison? All right, better is subjective, you know. All right, so tell you what now. Um, the man said it's de decent. Are you good at talk football? Um, we are talking football the whole two hours here, so I don't know. So if you think I'm not good or you think I'm good, you decide. All right. If I see you at five more streams, then I will take it as I am good enough for you to turn up here. Or maybe it just does, doesn't have nothing to do and you're here. <laughs> one of the two. All right. Yes. And I know it's number one. You know? Yes. Not number two. All right. Yes. <laughs> um, Tita said, JD, have, have you listened um, to the Arsenal guy on MM channel? Um, about dual citizenship, yes, 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 but TikTok, I had said majority of those things um, because um, they, 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 they told me and I went over there and listened to it and Robbie was, it was good what Robbie telling you because he's telling you that some kids, um, it's not even people trying to fight against them 
Um, it's more of the clubs them don't want them to go there because sometimes the incentives are higher for them to, to actually play in England and then sometimes they will choose England first. But you will still have people that want to choose in Jamaica first. You will still have it, you know? Um, good conversation while cooking dinner. Thank you, Hendrix. Um, and all I ask you for you know, is some likes in the video. And I'm on 112 likes in two hours. Disrespect. I know you guys can't find the likes in, and that tells me a lot of you guys don't rate me because if you just click at the top of your screen and just take a little time out for the likes and you can't find it, you see it? I want to take off him like just a while ago. Eat up. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah but tiktok i understand and i've always talked about the challenges because even the other day when Hutchinson wanted to come here tiktok but i i, I built a video on that you know but it took a man from it took robbie robbie was born in jamaica robbie is the one that says no, no stiff the coke no stiff the coke <laughs> no stiff the coke don't let me let me type in Rob, robbie song people all right so let me see Rabbi, don't stiff the don't stiff the cook. Don't sniff the cocaine. All right. Oh, they already have Rabbi lyrics. All right. <laughs> you see, see people. Yeah, TikTok. That is Rabbi. Rabbi is popular, man. Rabbi, Rabbi is popular. All right. So you see it. Don't sniff the cook. All right. That is Rabbi's tune. All right. Yes. Um, they will have some. Some whose first choice is Jamaica, but they are playing um in the lower leagues, and that is true as well. Um, TikTok, that is true as well. Some of them um will go by oh tick their family um connection is to Jamaica, make them the uh, Jamaica may play for Lembekisa. Lembekisa is hype that he he was on from early. Knowing that Wolves would have want him, I know that if he performs well at Wolves at any point within no one twenty one, he could easily well get bought for a different club. Um, that is just pure love for Jamaica, pure love for Jamaica, right there. So because he is a player that can ease and it's easy in a position, people can get game at right back in Jamaica in, in England. And always over the years they can break through in right backs in in England. Worst of this coach that is not playing the Pep style, you know. Yeah, so you have a lot of people that does um things. All right, massive respect for the one twenty other. Um, no, uh, we still need thirty to reach one fifty. So it looks like we had a good stream, you know. And then after I will meet the wallpaper. I bet you if Lumba Kisa was on England's radar, he would play for England. Ah, oh, God, TikTok. Uh. But I'm saying, look, um, before Lumba Kisa came to Jamaica, TikTok, I had I had made a video, um, TikTok from an article. Th that Wolf said that he was second in their development. Second, you know, second rated, you know. That means he was 18 years old, you know. He, he, he was 17, 18 years old, you know. And they are with, already have him as their future player, you know, to build from, you know. Yes, Lamekisa is 20 now. 20. Um, should be 21 soon. Oh, let me see. No, man, he should be 21 next year, right? Lamekisa. All right, so let me get, 20, let me see, 21. Um, November 2023 is 21 soon. Yes, so, yes, so, so, so three years ago, um, they knew that they had this player as his future, he has a future in a Premier League club. They were banking on him to come through three years ago. And he played, he represented Jamaica. Let me tell you when he represented Jamaica. All right, so, and these are the type of talents that wait, naturally wait on, on, on England. All right. So let me tell you when he comes to Jamaica and represent um, Jamaica. Bam. Bam. The first one. When is the first one? All right. When is the first one? Mexico. Mexico. He played before Mexico. Right. Played the Qatar one. All right. When he played any other one. All right. So that th th this is the period when he played play this game. In 2022, all right, look at that, 2022, that is years after, you know, years after. All right, so this is the time. If Mexico was his first match. Mexico was his first match. The 27th of the 27th, let me give you a 27th. All right, let me put it. All right, bam, bam. The first Mexico one. 
I think was is all right. So Mexico the twenty seventh, uh, the twenty seventh of of March, the twenty seventh of March is his first game. It doesn't matter uh, what Wolves say. Clubs always try to hype their players. He has never played um, for any of England youths. Well, all I'm saying is to know that you're so highly rated. Um, and he talked, he talked, he talked as well, TikTok, in his um, podcast the other day about um, how his club treats him and how they always set his skills and tell him what he, if he does this and this, what he's going to achieve. So I thought that he knew that he would have actually be um, at least a Premier League player soon. He, he knew that, he knew that, you know? So him knowing that he could have been a Premier League player, all I'm saying is, once you're a Premier League player, there is, poss there is a possibility that you could have made England. You understand me? That's all I'm saying. But, uh, but TikTok, you started off good. You said um, some of them, some of them would do so. And I think that Lembeke said was one of those. That's all I'm saying. I think he chose Jamaica because the way he's rapidly rising, I think by next year, you're going to see how effective he is, um, TikTok. By next year, you're going to see how effective he is. Ah, when do you pick Jamaica from early? <laughs> ah, that's what I'm saying. No, it, it, tell what. It, it, I don't know. These youth of the dust come and just do them thing and just oh, um, bust the United States net one of these days and, and Mexico net and win the game, you know? Yes, and once you win the game, I think the respect will come back. Like in one of these big competitions, if Jamaica beat Mexico, and it was dominated by some of these players. This is when Jamaica people really will come on board because when they when they look at the the United States team and realize the quality of the players them, that's when they're gonna say, "Damn, no, 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 something is going on here," you know? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so let me get uh, them. All right, agree because I I don't want to put big bad. Um, Liam Bailey on the screen because the man himself. We don't talk about Liam Bailey. We can't get no no views, which makes no sense, you know. <laughs> which make, makes no sense. All right, so all right, so that's good. So let me get there um, again, and then we put um, my boy on the show. Um, I wish he had some better midfielders uh, who committed to yes. Uh, I, I, I would agree with that as well. You know, I would agree with that. That uh, I, I, I do wish that was the case, but that's not the case at the point at this point. So we have to go just keep on working with, with, with what we have. Um, we heard that um, some, some new guys coming on the scene. So we're going to just wait on them um, to burst on the scene and then we can, we can just keep on supporting them. That's all I can say. Because for me, um, new. All right, so... Um, one thousand eighty p, um, seven twenty, seven twenty, seven twenty. All right. Um, but you're you're still um getting views right now. Um, Jupiter. Um, my confusion is you know. They said. We have to talk about these guys to get views in. And we have always got the more views than the people we talk about these guys in every single stream. Because you have channels in this space that is just the, the pillow man channel. And um we are not we are talking normal football and still have the highest views them, which is mental. So I just I just think they just say anything right now. I think at this point they, they are losing so bad. The pillow man losing so bad, they don't even know what to do anymore. You know? They they're just losing it. All right, so where is the... All right, so let me just try to get something. Um, all right, so let me get it. All right, that's good. Because the man them can't just see, say, uh, we have to, we, we, we talk about reggae boys, players them to keep them update. <laughs> the man who's one of them, gosh, them gospel church. You got to talk a bag of food and she's every day. You know, and, and, and just can't face reality for one day. Not even one day, you know. We're missing for a while. Uh, and we must, um, what 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 about uh, Mesa Green? I don't know, I don't know. 
Uh, we need um to complete uh com complete this team is Gibbs White and Mesa Greenwood. I still think we're gonna need people if we if we if we get those two because we still don't have the def defensive midfielder as we, as we think we have. You know, as we think we have. Uh, we, I don't think we have that as yet, and that itself will definitely hurt us. Um, England um claim good midfielders fast, so we are. Mm, um, mm, mm. The problem is we have to just scout a little bit better and go out there. We have to just scout a little better and go out there and, and let it pay. You know? That's all. We have to scout a little bit better, believe in some of the people. Em. That's what we need to do. Scout a little better and believe in some of the people. Em. All right? Do right. Matt Neal. We have to scout a little better. Um, Not just jump Um, and want, want the players em, to turn up. We have to, we have to scout them um, and believe in them from an earlier age. Just like oh, we, we, we've we pointed out some some players and I've said, oh, this, these players are good and then they turn up to be some of the best players. Then. That's what we need. So we need a good scouting network. Get them from a lower level because a lot of these lower level... The, the good thing is, you know, um, people, a lot of these guys are becoming rapidly good very, very fast. All right? So a lot of them turning up and become becoming very good. So the fact that we, we can't even but but tell what our attitude is always like what 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 most people just said. Um why we need to run them down. That's our attitude naturally. So if our attitude stays like that, um then it'll tell we oh, where we are gonna reach, you know? It tell where we're gonna reach if, if our attitude is like that in the people. Alright? So our attitude is has to change if we want to improve certain things. Alright? That's what I think still. Maybe that's just on me. Alright, so what more? Alright, so let me put this right here. Bam bam bam. Alright, so I'm in there. Alright, um Travis said Liam Bailey, um no 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 I, I, I will not I will not Travis I will not say anything bad about Liam Bailey Travis you're not gonna put me down that road <laughs> If he doesn't choose to support Jamaica I'm gonna tell him thanks for his services and stuff. I, I'm not in that fight with them. Um Sterling had a good game at um at left back for Rangers yesterday. Um hundred um JD people saying Sterling is not a CDM. Will he be able to play that position? He played that position a few times this year. Um that is a surprising thing, you know, because if you had watched I, I I saw people sending me clips saying people saying that the kid have not played that position none at all. Um but the problem is, you know, people they are not watching the games them after playing none at all. But they are they, the problem is, you know, our culture is a very, very dangerous culture, you know. So you see me now being here doing my thing and you guys gravitate to me. That alone make a lot of people eh, eh, just envious. And we have a culture like that, we have to be honest. We have a culture like that. So they will do more things to try and bring me down to even sell misinformation when nothing else goes. So because you could have checked. But if the, if you were watching the games, you would have seen that the player played um more defensive central and midfield more than more than the position that they are saying that the player plays you understand me because sometimes they don't even know that the system that they are using if you're not watching the games then you, you might not get the accurate information as to what you're looking at because you're looking at the same system that we have up on our screen sometimes just to say that they know what they're talking about people believe me all right, and I, I, I'm, I'm laughing because the kid can play. The kid can play the position. The kid can play the position. Um, guys, don't follow nobody. The kid can play the, the position. I don't know if he can play better than um the, the other guys them, but he can play the position. The problem is, the problem is, uh, you, you, the thing is, we have to just see him. Don't the coach like a certain type of players, and and he's he's definitely the the only player we have on our listing that plays exactly like Damian Lowe. So if he likes that type of player in his midfield, um, I guess he's the perfect person for the position. Um, that's all we can say. You know, what else? What we can't say anything different. He's the perfect person for that position because he plays exactly like Damien Lowe people. JD, watch Rangers' second goal um, today. Sterling cut 
um, cut out a pass in midfield and then played um, the ball um, to his teammate. All right, thank you very much. See it? Certainly had a good game um, at left back for Rangers yesterday. So TikTok says at left back he was playing. All right, so I guess he's a utility player. Um, I've not watched the game yesterday. I told you guys that I was on um, vacation with my family. And that's the reason why I never uh, never watched it, you know. And and, and oh yes, and, and the Jura said, don't forget that you need art. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I recommend you um to check out um Irish Erling. It's another good um um sport. Okay, okay, Brian. Alright. <laughs> Alright people, um we're not going <laughs> we are gonna leave it right here because <laughs> it looks like Sterling played 50 different positions yesterday. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it to make sure um it's accurate, you know. Um so I can give you inf information. I, I will bring the exact amount of games that he played in midfield. But the guy has played more way more midfield this season than what Damien Lowe ever played in his entire life. So make it make sense. One play more midfield than one that played in his entire life, but one can't play midfield. And one is playing at a higher level than one ever played in his, in his entire life. But we, we won't give him the opportunity to try. You understand me? So all oh, that makes sense. All oh, that makes sense. You understand me? All oh, that makes sense. I, I think the kid can come in and get an opportunity just like Damien Lowe. And based on what I'm seeing, I would have given him the opportunity um, to rival Damien Lowe. Just the same, you know? Sterling was... Ma the, the, Sterling match was today. All right. So maybe... Um, um, TikTok got it wrong. TikTok got it wrong. Come on, JD. You don't watch all the games. I could tell that Russell wasn't ready um, for what I saw uh, of his game. Madasil isn't ready either. No better than Dixon um, and 35-year-old um, need um, a replacement. If you said you watch a game and Madasil ain't better than Dixon, that tells you you never watch no game TikTok. And you can't tell me, say, I don't watch all the games. I pointed out every game that I've watched. We talk on every game that I've watched every time I come here TikTok. So... Why, what are you talking about? How can I be talking on something and telling you what happened in the games them and you say that I don't watch the games them? And every day I come here and tell you which games I've watched on the day. Obviously, I am not going to watch every single game on the list. But I, uh, that means, TikTok, you, look like you, 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 you're not watching the series. You're just, you're just, you're just, you're just fighting for no reason, TikTok, all right? <laughs> All right, so people, let me leave it right there because TikTok said we don't watch the we don't watch the games if none at all. So I don't know. I don't know what else to see throughout it. Because <laughs> I've every game every week I've come here and tell people to go and watch specific games, and I went and watched the games and I will come and talk about things, and then TikTok said we don't watch the games them. All right, all right, you know, um, JD Mr. Green, New Jersey, uh, will sell like KFC, but but he's not in Jamaica. <laughs> um, I think he, he meant all of us, you know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, TikTok, something wrong with TikTok. So, people, um, we are going to leave it right here. Uh, TikTok, don't watch any game because Rangers played this morning. <laughs> all right, Mike Marlon, all right. <laughs> All right, so people, we are back. Um, I'm going to be a, a little bit sketchy for the next two days. I will not watch all the games then because I have a lot of things to do. I have my, my, my wife and kid on vacation, um, but I have to always be more busy, all right? Rewatch the video, JD. You said you, you said you watch all the games and you say it often. I've said I watch all the games that I'm talking on TikTok. That I'm talking on. And I've listed the games on TikTok. Today I've come and here and said what TikTok? I have not gotten the chance to watch all the games them. And I have not watched enough. Pull this video back TikTok. Please. God. Stop messing with my credibility TikTok. Because maybe it's the one thing I do have here. I have literally come here and said I have not gotten to watch most of the games. Them. I had to re-watch some of the games on TikTok. Listen good, my brother. In this same video, I've said that. 
All right? In this video, I've said that. You don't watch all the games you speak on, JD. Every game I have speak on here, TikTok, aside from reading all the stats of a player, I've watched those games. Every single one of the games them, I've spoke on when I told that I speak, I watch the games them, yes, 100%. Facts. 100%. You know what I'm going to do, TikTok? You know what I'm going to do to embarrass you, TikTok? Every day I will come up here, I'm going to put all the games that I'm watching on the four screens them on in the um, in the discard. Every day you come here TikTok, I'm going to take a picture of all the games that we are watching at once on the screens that I'm putting in the discard. So you can learn to stop this suspect people work with them put out, alright? Every single stream I'm going to put out in the discard. And if you don't go in there and put a like on it in the discard, then I know that you are the fraud. Because if I'm going to prove to you that I'm watching all of the games, I'm going to show you some facts. Alright? Well, I'm going to show you TikTok because I'm going to embarrass you. Alright? Yes, and then you are going to be embarrassed. And make sure you turn up and say you're sorry. Bright and feisty. But we don't watch your games, then. Bright and feisty. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, and the one game you say you watch the people might tell us are not even today are not even yesterday a today so the one game you say the man play the man play in a left back you never watch a game and I've not even covered anything on Sterling alright <laughs> so uh, TikTok did you watch the game today <laughs> <laughs> all right so people i'm not gonna hold you up we have the next video out please go and drop a like on that video um and we will be back tomorrow uh, tomorrow we will be back here because tomorrow yeah is the next day i have the the, next, the nigeria video so tomorrow we will be back and then tuesday um and wednesday i might be off tuesday might be for nigeria but if i can drop a short video i will do so wednesday i should pick up the van and then I should have, um, I should have a next, next spot that I need to bring the family. And maybe Thursday as well. So let's, let me see. All right. You don't have to change anything, JD. I am sure. Um, no, TikTok, you're not sure. You're not sure because you're never sure about the game that you watched. You claim that you watched yesterday. Unless you're in the future. All right, you are in the future watching things of today when it was yesterday. <laughs> so people, smash the like button, share, and subscribe. TikTok is the greatest. TikTok is in the future. People, he's watching things from yesterday for today. All right, yes. <laughs> TikTok is in the future, people. All right. So the one game, you know, one game. So this is how our our jobs. Uh, are here because we have to watch all of the games on TikTok. I had only one game to watch, and he watched it a day earlier. I don't know why he did, um, did something like that. <laughs> so, big up people, take care, and see you in the next one.